a unusual diecast, absolutely, but one epic one as well. Here is Haley Deegan's 2020 Toter Ford Fusion. Hell, daddy folks, it's Diecast Buffet here with a brand new NASCAR Cup, or no, Xfinity, no, it's an Arkham Menards freaking car. It's Haley Deegan's 2020 Toter, whatever the heck's a Toter, I, I, I ain't got a God-given clue, but it's for DGR Crosley. It's the Toter Ford Fusion. Yeah, the Fusion came back from the grave. Of course, you know, the, the Arkham Menard series. Uh, I don't even know what to think of the Arkham Menard series. I'm so confused by it. Is it East? Is it West? I don't even know what the heck to think about it. But what I do know is they use pretty much late model Gen 6s. The first generation Toyota Camry, the, the Chevrolet SS, all that good jazz, right? Uh, anyways, this is a really cool paint scheme, of course. You know, Haley Deegan is sponsored, you know, with Monster Energy and whatnot. So, obviously, they can't make that paint scheme but we do get this one made and this is also in wave six of the nascar authentics line so if you are looking forward to get it in the authentics line you get a little bit of a preview right here with the gold series edition and without further ado let's go and get this 2020 Haley deegan right out of the box all righty folks brand new out of that good old box and whoa it has been a it, it, let's be honest it has been it seems like years at this point since we've done a fusion review but this thing is absolutely stunning look at that bright neon green with the white and the satin semi-gloss black look at that general tire actual tires really cool and unfortunately unfortunately the authentics version of this car does not have the general tire logos on the wheels from what i've seen unfortunately so uh, a little bit of a buyer beware there and already you see how the gold series is a better quality race car than the authentics version in wave 6 2020 but this paint scheme is i'm not sure if this is kind of an alternate paint scheme or whatnot but i don't think it's her absolute primary because I, I know she's sponsored by uh, monster energy but nonetheless a very cool race car so you got toter built for extremes i don't know what the heck it is is they, do they sell i don't know uh garbage bags or do they sell freaking beef jerky i ain't got a god-given clue but you, over here on the nose you got the fusion decal and that thing is i'll be honest it's kind of skewed up a little bit there you got the ford logo you got a whole bunch of contingencies jesus christ man so you got Valvoline, hers, General Attire, whatever that thing is. I think it's sous chef, uh, K and N, Bounty. Uh, you got uh, Sunoco, Menards, Richmond, General Attire, Ford Fusion. You got the the whole splitter is painted with that very nice uh, lime green. And honestly, if you remove like the sponsor logos on this car like that, it looks like a Monster Energy paint scheme. To be honest with you, uh, very sharp. Of course, you have the four right there on that headlight, and you got DGR Crosley on this headlight as well. And it's kind of weird seeing a brand new diecast release with the Ford Fusion, you know, with the Mustang being the cup car nowadays. But it's also kind of cool how the Arca uh, Bernard series uses the late model Gen 6s. So you got Haley Deegan right there on the driver's side window. The H is a little bit chopped, I think, unfortunately. You got the Ford logo right there. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer on that B post. And you got, of course, I think it's General Tire there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of smaller sponsors that are kind of... Uh, I wouldn't say lesser known, but they're not just mainstream. And good God almighty, what is going on with that Lucas Oil decal right there? Holy moly. It, it looks like Chinese. Oh, that's cool. I'm already hungry now for Chinese food. I got uh, Barstool Sports there. I got Toter, Built for Extremes. I can't read the rest of these. I got the number four there. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, that's so cool. There's a freaking bear on the car. That's freaking cool. I had dudes chilling. I wonder if the bear just dropped a deuce in the woods. Who knows? It's got a whole bunch of contingencies over here. I can barely read half of them. You got Lincoln Welders, Crosley. I think it's WX. Something like that. So while the bear over there is uh, having a jolly good time climbing on rocks and whatnot, you got the Menards uh, Arca Series logo. You got Arca, Holly, e ARP, Charter Mast, I think. Matt Charter Master, uh, Quartermaster, uh, Racing Electronics, URI. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Something Volvo. It's Ebok there. Uh, Intercomp, CGS, Imaging, Co Cometic, Brembo. That's pretty cool. And Ilmore. You got the, of course, uh, the General Tire logo right there we go over here to the the caboose of this die cast and this is pretty cool so i'm assuming she's a, a rookie in the arca series right now i think she's a rookie so that's why you probably see the um yeah the rookie uh stripes back here bounty 
uh, sponsor right there. Pretty cool. Uh, I guess that's their, they sponsor their rookie program because the way the Menards series kind of works is that the Menards uh, sponsors it, but they have so many little individual product brands that go along with it. So that's why you see all these contingencies, which is pretty cool. You know, it's actually not that bad of a, a business strategy if you think about it. You got General Tire GT right there on the other side. You got Menards. Um, obviously, the spoiler is a little shorter than what they actually run. Uh, so they kind of had to squinch the logos in to get it on as they run a taller spoiler in the Arca series. Got the number four right there. Ford, I love the texture of this car, man. Look at that beautiful kind of a satin black race car. And you go over here to the right side of this die cast. And it, I love the green. I love the black. Uh, a very nice color combination and definitely a beautiful gold series car. But if you're looking to get this car in the Authentics line, you might want to be a little bit of a buyer beware because from what I've seen, they don't have the General Tire logos on it. And you might be saying, oh, that's no big deal, you know, just black Goodyears, whatever. If that's you, that's cool. But for me, look, I can live without a sensor decal here and there, but when they don't have like the actual General Tire or Goodyear logos on the actual plastic wheels, that kind of gets to me because it looks like a full-on raced version all the way around. Uh, but the Gold Series fortunately has that, not to mention the front and back windshield banners. And I'm going to go and touch on that. You got the Bernard's logo right there. Very cool. You got the number four on the roof of this car. It's a gigantic four, I might add, as well. You know, the white in the middle, the black, and then the green, lime green uh, trim line there. Uh, very sharp, very nice. Go over here to the, the back window. You got Deegan right there. And then over here on the deck lid, you got Toter built for extremes. But, you know, I would not be surprised one bit if, if this die cast is a little bit overproduced. I'm not saying it's going to be a super rare car, but I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of people buy this car for customs. Think about it. You get the general tire tires. And keep in mind, this is based off the old style tire uh, fine. So you remember back when they um, when they changed it over late last year, and I'll, I'll show a good example here. Now, to some people, this might be like apples to oranges, but see how the font on the Chase Elliott truck is kind of flat, kind of bold and bulky, the Goodyear and Eagle. But look at the general tire logo. It's kind of three-dimensional, kind of wrapped towards the rim of the tire and the whole wheel itself. And I, I like that. I think that looks very sharp. Looks a lot more high-definition, higher, higher quality uh, printed decal there. Uh, but I think a lot of people might take this car and turn it into customs. Because think about it. You get the Ford Fusion body, which are cheap to get. But you get those tires. That's a big thing. A lot of people want those general tires. And then, of course, you have your front windshield banner that has that printed Menards logo. Because I can't remember the last time we actually had uh, an actual Arca die cast uh, with the front windshield banner. So uh, it, it's been a while. It has definitely been a while. But this die cast is very cool, honestly. Like, I love it. And to think that this is a clean version die cast, uh, I think that's very, very sharp. You know, it's a Ford Fusion, a little bit of a blast from the past, but... Uh, nonetheless, if you see the Stycast, I absolutely recommend picking it up. It really is a very nice race car. The the, the gloss finish is, is kind of dull, right? Kind of like a haze, like a semi-gloss. And I, I think the texture on the paint is very, very sharp. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to uh, give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what y'all think about this car down below. I mean, you got the bear over here climbing on a rock, dropping turds in the freaking woods. It's all good and dandy. Uh... Really cool. I like this. I still don't know what the heck a toter is. I don't know if it's garbage bags or uh, who knows. Maybe it's a pooper scooper. Anyways, folks, have a great one. Stay humble. Hope y'all continue to watch more of the videos. I greatly appreciate it. And especially a thumbs up goes a long way. Anyways, folks, Diecast Buffet signing off, Mike.